the nation of Beethoven, of Schiller, of Goethe, Malmö. What is that? A bird, sir. A bird? Yes, sir. A lark? Yes, sir, a lark. That is very good. It was on the window ledge. Mm, this line is... The window. Yes. Very exact. Thank you, sir. <laughs> But you do not come to class to make little drawings or to write little poems or to dream, do you, Father? It's done. <clears throat> Gentlemen, you have all passed your examinations, as you know. You are graduating. The time for class is over, the time for duty has begun. You are dismissed. Here, Lama. You may stay. Uh, what is it the English say? Uh, all work and no play makes... A dull man. A dull man. Yes, yes, very good. So you see, you have learned something here after all. There is a time for work and there is a time for play. You are graduating. The time for play is over. You are a dreamer, Balmer. Draw little sketches and write little poems. But now you are a man. You have your duties as a man. Have your duty to the fatherland. Will you, uh, will you wait to be called up, or uh, will you enlist? <laughs> no, of course you will respond to your call of duty. You will all respond. The entire class will go as one man to serve the fatherland. I know I will be proud of you, Bob. Today is wonderfully good. Every one of us has eaten for two men, and the mail has come. The grasses sway like tall spears. The white butterflies float on the soft, warm wind. How often in the last few days have we all come to the edge of death? Let's not even think about it. Let's just enjoy the world. Everything is new and brave. Red poppies, good food, cigarettes, and the summer breeze. See Kimmery. I'm all right. I'm 
foot. It's so painful. It's so cold. That, that, that pain is your ticket home. You should be grateful to that pain. That's right. In a week from now, you'll be smoking cigars and sitting on Frau Hammerschmidt's front porch <laughs> telling big fat lies to Katrina Hammerschmidt. <laughs> We've got you some smokes and a nice piece of cheese, compliments of cat, and your comb is in the tobacco tin. Put them under the bed, please. Hide them. You know, they stole my watch. Franz, will you be taking these back home with you? Why not? Well, you don't really need boots back home. Maybe we could do a trade. I've got some... No, my mother gave me those boots. Maybe you could lend them to me? No. You'll be home a lot sooner than the rest of us. That's right. You won't have to wait for leave now. <laughs> Orderly? Orderly? They don't come. They never come. We'll try to get you somewhere. Yeah, it'll be different when you get home. Right, and when you come back, we'll all be together again. We'll be, yeah. we'll be back tomorrow. I'll come back tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. I'll be back. Yeah, and I'll watch you. Make sure you get my watch. We will. You think I don't care about France? Of course I care. If I could save his leg or his life, I'd walk over barbed wire to do it. You know that. But where he's going, he isn't going to need his boots. He isn't going to need anything. And my boots hurt. They really hurt. Why should some damn orderly in the hospital get his boots and not one of his friends? He's right, Paul. Could be worse. Begler lost his right arm, which is very much worse. Besides, you're going home. Do you think so? Of course. Do you think so? Once you get over the operation? I don't think so. Don't talk nonsense. I wanted to be a forester once. You will. There. They make wonderful artificial limbs now. I can do anything. If you find my watch, send Go to a convalescent home. Maybe the one in Klosterberg. Remember how we used to hike up there? Remember the poplars? A stream full of fish. Franz. Franz, when I come back, we go up to the mountains again. You can name all of the trees for me. Tell me all about them. Friends, nothing will change. We'd be together again. <laughs> 